Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the second lecture of this bit manipulation series. And in this lecture, we are going to study about how we can calculate or how we can check whether the ith bit in the binary representation of a number is set or not. So this is also a very easy thing to do. Uh, so the problem is you are given n that is a number and i the index. So you have to tell whether the uh, whether the ith bit in the binary representation of that number is set or not for example if n is equals to 12 whose binary representation is 1100 and i is equals to 0 so at index 0 we are uh, the ith bit is not set so we would return false in the second test case n is 12 again which is again having binary representation 1100 i this time is 3 which is the index and we see at the third index the bit is set so we would return true now uh, how we can calculate it or how we can check this so this is number and this is uh, binary, represent, uh, binary representation I am only showing the first 8 bits though when you take an integer in C or C++ mostly uh, it is 32 bit integer so upper uh, uh, 24 bits I guess yeah 24 is so upper 24 bits I'm not showing I'm just showing the lower 8 bits so if you see the binary representation of 12 is this so what we are going to do we are going to take a number f doesn't matter what you name it and we initialize it with 1 so the binary representation of f would of course look like this now uh, since we have to test suppose for this example we have to test the third bit is set or not as we can see the third bit is actually set in n so now what we are going to do we are going to left shift f three times if you do not know what is left shift go check out the previous lecture so we have left shifted i three times so what would happen f would result into this or basically what would happen if you take f to be 1 and left shift it i times what would happen in the binary representation of f the ith bit would be set only the ith bit in f would be set the rest bit would be 0 so to test whether the ith bit in n is set or not what we can do we can take f we can take n and we can calculate their binary and operation so after performing AND operation, the resultant, since in the F only the ith bit is set, so the rest bits are of course going to be 0 in after the AND operation. The ith bit is going to be 0 if and only if the ith bit in N is 0. But since in N ith bit is 1, so in the result also ith bit is going to be 1. If on the other hand, suppose we have to test the fourth bit, so we left shifted f four times and we again perform binary and operation the result is going to be zero because in n the fourth bit is actually zero so the result is going to be zero so uh, the algorithm is very simple all you have to do is left shift f i times and perform and operation with n if the resultant is zero then uh, this whole number is 0 so the re resultant would be 0 so there is uh, if the resultant is 0 then the ith bit in n is 0 otherwise the ith bit in as n is 1 so if we code it let's take q number of queries n and i sorry so q while q minus minus each time we would read n and i and c uh, the simply thing in f is equals to 1 left shift f i times sorry f is equals to f left shifted i times now int result is equals to n performed with and operation with f if sorry result is equals to 0 which indicates that the ith bit in n is 0 so see out false else the ith bit is set so we would we would print true 
so this is whole algorithm we declared uh, for each query we are given n n and i so 5 and 0 so we are performing left shift operation i times and we are performing the end operation if the resultant is 0 then the ith bit is not set otherwise ith bit is set so the bitwise representation of 5 is 101 since the zeroth bit is set that is why we are getting true uh, while uh, 10 sorry and the zeroth bit it is false because zeroth bit in 10 the binary representation of 10 uh, is not set that is why we are getting false so 32 fourth fourth bit false because in 32 fifth bit is set so this was all about this lecture this was very easy as you can see all you gotta do is declare f which is equal to one left shift it i times and perform and operation with the given number if the resultant is zero i have bit is not set otherwise i have bit is set so this was all about this lecture so thank you guys for watching and yep till the next video drops keep coding thank you